How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing a weapon review of the Erintel or Erintel, however you want to pronounce it, FR4. It's a fusion rifle in Destiny 2, takes up the power weapon slot, and I've been using, playing around with this recently, and actually it's pretty dang good, uh, pretty dang good fusion rifle. Uh, it's actually one of the higher damaging, uh, actually it's actually tied for uh, with the shock and awe for the highest impact in uh, Destiny 2 for a fusion rifle. And you get this weapon from Banshee44 using reputation tokens. So I've been playing around with this recently. It's actually a pretty dang good fusion rifle. I'd highly suggest you checking this out in PvP. Now the thing about it is yeah, obviously since it's a high impact fusion rifle that yeah it's going to take a long time to charge. Actually it's right up there with the Merciless when it comes to charge time. So you really need to prepare your attack when using this guy. Uh, it defaults at, I believe it says, yeah, charge time at 820. So it's definitely at the higher end right here. So, but you can wait, I like to spec it out. I like to make sure that when I'm hit a guy with this weapon, I try to do as much damage as possible. So I like to use the liquid coils, which increases the impact damage, but slower charge time. But really I found that the charge time isn't too bad because most of the times, when I'm using the fusion rifle, I'm kind of see a guy on the radar. I know that he's coming. And if you're pre-charging your shot, you can definitely have the advantage. There's actually a clip in here where I actually beat a guy with a shotgun because I prepared my shot and, you know, he hit me, but I was making sure to maintain my distance far enough, which is really great about using fusion rifles. So the way I like to spec this out is I like to use a flash SH5. And what this does is it adds like that red dot side for medium zoom. It increases your range. It slightly decreases your handling speed. Not that big of a deal when it comes to a fusion rifle. And I also like to spec it out using, like I said earlier, liquid coils over accelerated coils, which is a faster charge time, but decreases the impact. Uh, I noticed that when I had lower impact, I was actually having to kind of clean up a lot of kills. Uh, but with this weapon, you you know, only have four bolts that shoot so you gotta make sure that they count and that's why i like to use the higher impact with this weapon now the recoil on this weapon is also rather severe it goes either just goes straight up and either left to the right it's rather it's random which direction it goes so it's very tricky there i found myself a lot of times really just hip firing to get good kills but um it's not too bad on the recoil to shoot a guy just make sure you aim for like center mass like their chest or stomach area. If you aim for the head, you're probably gonna actually miss getting the kill on these guys. But when it comes to the high impact level fusion rifle, I would highly suggest this one much more over the shock and awe, uh, just because it has a much higher aim assist as well. And it has a little bit better range at, on top of that. So if you guys get a little bored using uh, the merciless or whatever, you can definitely check out this fusion rifle. Highly suggest it. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys have this fusion rifle, what your thoughts are on it. And if you liked more Destiny and Halo content, make sure to tap that subscribe button with the bell. Let you guys know every time we upload awesomeness on this channel. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.